FFA interviews from Plainville High School on Eagle Communications Television brought to you by DGH Oil, New York Life, Tom's Machine and Welding Service, Bosselman Energy, Kansas Land Tire, Midwest Energy, Steel Fabrications Incorporated, Swift Services, and Eagle Communications. It's Eagle TV. Today we're at Plainville High School and we are talking to the FFA kids up here because it is FFA week. We've got Willow, we've got Noah. I'm going to start off with Noah over here. Okay, Willow? Is okay. that okay? Because he's the president, so I always like to talk off, start off with the top dog here. So how long have you been in FFA here, Noah? I was in FFA my sophomore year. So what made you decide to get into FFA? Um, I got a job on a farm and ranch and kind of just sparked my interest and that's kind of what I've grown to want to do for my living. Sometimes, you know, in FFA you get a chance to do a lot of different projects. Uh, you uh, said before we went on the air that you've done some judging. How's that been? Uh, I kind of, I started showing animals through FFA and I kind of found that it's pretty cool to be able to like place your animals and figure out which ones are the best for the market and I kind of found livestock judging is fun experience. What's well, kind of a cool thing you've kind of learned a lot as you're going along here and, and doing a lot of new things. I'm going to go over to Willow over here. Willow, you know, you've learned a lot being in FFA. How long you been in FFA now? I've been in FFA all four years. All four years. What made you decide to get into it? Um, my dad has always been in agriculture and I've shown since I was like seven, so. You know, that's one of the things you get a chance to do. You get a chance to show and to do judging and all that stuff and learn a lot of different things while you're in FFA and meet a lot of friends. And speaking of meeting a lot of friends, you've probably met some people when you went to the national convention, didn't you? Yes. So you get a chance to see people from all over the country and meet friends and probably become Facebook friends with them and, and talk to them a little bit too, don't you? Yep. So you met people along the way. Did anybody else uh, from the Plainville area get a chance to go with you to the national convention? Yes, every uh, other year we take the officer team to national convention. What's some of the things that you thought were fascinating when you went there? Uh, it's just a great experience because we do this thing and all these lights are up and yeah, it's just fun. So you get a big presentation. Yeah. Well, you learned a lot in it, haven't you? Yes. FFA, a great thing for a lot of the area youth. And again, we're at Plainville with the FFA there during FFA week. Want to thank you for joining us today. I'm Mike Kerner. Got Willow and Noah, our guests today, here on Eagle TV. FFA interviews from Plainville High School on Eagle Communications Television brought to you by DGH Oil, New York Life, Tom's Machine and Welding Service, Bosselman Energy, Kansas Land Tire, Midwest Energy, Steel Fabrications Incorporated, Swift Services, and Eagle Communications.